Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and we are going to do an update with our original Camel Spider. Remember, Leo named him Saddam? Might be a she, I'm not sure, but Leo named our first Camel Spider. Why did he name it Saddam? Well, probably because all this Camel Spider does is hide in little spider holes. It's the weirdest thing. So we've had Saddam for about 10 months. If you remember the story, we, she was all, he was all happy going around the habitat and then just disappeared. I left him alone, didn't mess with him, but then, you know, after a month, I, I figure it, it croaks. We get another camel spider, put it in that habitat. And then all is well for several months. And, you know, that camel spider eventually croaks. And it was a good sized camel spider too. We got plenty of video of it, but it croaked. Camel spiders do not live very long, and from what I've gathered online, there's not a lot of studies with camel spiders because they don't do well in captivity, but why do we have them? Because there's so many of them, they just go pluck them out of the desert and, you know, you keep them as a pet. So after that camel spider dies, we clean out the habitat, order another camel spider, and I'm saying, you know, let's try to do an excavation in the habitat and see if we can't find old Saddam. And sure enough, it was the darndest thing. There's a video of it, and go check it out. We found Saddam alive after five and a half months dug in the sand. Weirdest thing. If you remember, we've never seen Saddam eat anything, and he was still pretty fat. It, it wasn't like, you know, shriveled up from hibernation. It was just the weirdest thing. So I set up another habitat for Saddam in a smaller container because we're going to use the big habitat for a new big one. And then after a week or so, Saddam disappears again. I let Saddam do his thing, and about two months later, we go looking for Saddam. We find Saddam. What the heck? Still good size. Still no evidence of eating because, well, okay, what we did is, even though there's no evidence of eating, I've always put small crickets in there and made sure there was food in case you got hungry. And we have videos to show this too. Saddam went to a temporary habitat for a week or so, and then Saddam was moved into the new habitat that he currently lives in. Saddam hasn't been overly active. I've seen him once or twice within a few days of going into the new habitat, and then bam, disappeared again. The difference this time is I put one of those coconut half shells, half coconut shells for a cave, so maybe if Saddam wanted to hide, he could hide in there instead of having to dig a hole. So here's Saddam. Still alive, still no real evidence of eating, still as fat as ever, but here's the rub. We've had Saddam approximately 10 months. Five and a half months, he was buried down sleeping. Then another two months, buried down hiding sleeping. And then another month. What is that? Uh, seven and a half, eight and a half. So I've really only enjoyed, we've really only enjoyed Saddam for a month and a half, you've been sleeping the rest of the time. If you only live a year or so, you're going to sleep eight, nine months out of it. Yeah, it's just the weirdest thing. And the thing about these camel spiders is when they start getting really lethargic like this, they'll move around. That you don't, you think they're dead, but they're not. It's, it's just weird. Zombie spiders? Yeah, so here's the update. Saddam is still alive, as weird as ever. And yeah, it's just the darndest thing. Okay, so, do you know anything about camel spiders other than, you know, the fake weird memes you see on the interwebs? So, leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.